Hey, Kristen, hope you're doing well. Uh, talked to Darrington earlier. You know, you got a similar situation as you came in as rookies, didn't really have a normal offseason. What's it like this year for you? And maybe what's your comfort level heading into year two? Uh, very comfortable, you know, heading into year two. Um, you know, the injuries kind of uh, held both of us back. And uh, just really a learning experience for both of us. But, uh, I mean, I can't really speak for Darrington as far as his comfort level, but you know, I'm real comfortable heading to year two, real confident. Um, you know, the main thing is really just, you know, making sure I'm healthy and being able to contribute to the defense. And, and as you kind of reflect on your Jim, hold on. Year, Jim, how's the volume? Okay. How about that? Is that a lot better? Is the volume better on, on – can you hear him fine? Yeah, I can see him now too. I didn't see him earlier. Okay. Let me just talk just a little bit louder. All right. <clears throat> And I guess, Christian, if you, if you learned something from, from 2020, what was it and how much will it help you moving forward? Um, really just uh, my urgency, you know, uh, being urgent with everything that I do, you know, not just on the field, but off the field. Uh, I feel like that's going to be uh, big for me, you know, to compete for a spot on this defense and uh, really just earning respect of not only my teammates, but the coaches, you know, that's going to be a big thing for me heading into, you know, the rest of OTAs and camp. Lennon. Kim, it's not audible for a lot of us. Hey, uh, Christian, uh, obviously OTAs aren't, uh, aren't mandatory. Um, why, why go ahead and do them as opposed to, uh, uh, you know, sitting them out and, you know, maybe, uh, maybe taking a breather? Uh, I mean, if you're healthy, I don't, I don't, I feel, you know, you should, you should uh, definitely, you know, attend OTAs. And um, it's really a learning period, you know. That's something we didn't get last year. And, you know, just going through my first OTAs, first real offseason in the NFL, I, I see that it's very helpful. You know, uh, you're learning the things instead of being rushed into learning them like as, as we were last year. So uh, OTAs is definitely helpful, you know, you know, to get conditioning up, you know, see where you're at, and then really compete, you know, get some good, some good competition in before, you know, heading to the real thing. Thank you. Turan. Christian, obviously, you know, going from a rookie to a second year player, there's a big step to be taken for you. What were some areas that, that you worked on for improvement and what will be the key in taking that huge step this year? Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, learning the defense, you know, making sure I learn the defense, you know, know my part and then obviously learning some other parts. Uh, it just helps me with being quick on my feet when I'm out there, you know, being confident and uh, being able to, you know, do my job and make plays. And uh, that's the main thing for me uh, heading into year two. And uh, also, you know, just uh, finding a role on the team, you know, on the defense, you know, I, I, I want to compete, you know, to make sure that uh, I get a chance to be out there come week one. Buck. Christian, I obviously, you know, there's change in the NFL every year as far as your teammates are concerned, but particularly in the secondary, there's there's a lot of new and, and different faces. I, I know not everybody's out there today or, or throughout the process of this OTAs, but how how has that been kind of getting to know your new teammates, some new rookies coming in, some veterans as well? What's that dynamic been like? Uh, it's been great, you know, uh, I feel like a fresh start really for everybody, you know, like you said, a lot of new faces, so we got to get to learn each other and be able to gel as one, you know, um, not, not want to speak on last year, but we know we can be better as far as everybody, you know, in the secondary. So uh, it's good to uh, get in early with, like I said, OTAs, you know, get in early and get a, a connection with the guys that are here. And even when those guys who do come back, you know, they, they, they those veterans have some experience out there, a lot more experience than us new guys. So um, I'm sure they'll gel in fine, but um, I mean, it's good to have new faces, you know, a lot of young guys in the back end. Paul. Cool. Christian, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what it's like to be a hurt player on a Mike Rabel team and, and what it was like to, uh, maybe what you had to endure last year from a head coach as an injured rookie who was having trouble getting on the field? I mean, you know, he's, 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 nobody never wants to be hurt. But uh, Coach Variable, you know, he supports he supports us 100%, whether we're on the field or we're not. You know, he's going to find ways for us to get better. And um, that's something that I learned, you know, uh, just dealing with an injury. You know, it's always ways you can get better uh, if you're not on the field. You know, obviously with rehab and then being in a film study, you know, in the playbook, uh, that that's also helpful. You know, he always supports us. You know, he doesn't rush us to get back. 
And, um, you know, I, I appreciate that from him and the rest of the training staff also. And what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. Well, I'll just pick up from there. Is it is it a mentally draining process? No, a hundred percent. It's definitely mentally draining. You know, uh, like I said, it was a weird year. So, uh, but just having the expectations you have for yourself, you know, you, you're dealing with that. And um, so it, it was definitely mentally draining. Uh, it was a, a injury that I never heard of that I had. So it was kind of new to me in the rehabbing part, you know, so it was something that I was trying to rush back, but I knew it could, I couldn't rush that back, you know, in the position that I play. Terry. Christian, I know you probably don't like to play what ifs, but uh, when you're out there today and you're getting work in the OTAs, do you, does it make you think about what you missed last year and couldn't get as a rookie that you needed? Um, no, not really. Um, I mean, everything pretty much, everything just feels, I don't know. I don't, I guess, I don't, I guess you can say slower, but I just feel more confident going into more confident myself, more confident going into this year because, uh, I got a few games under my belt. I got, um, well, I got a few games under my belt and uh, some game time experience. So, I mean, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm familiar with the defense. It's just all about locking in and making sure, you know, that I take the next step every day. Couple more for you, Christian. Ben Arthur. Hey, Christian, now that you're healthy, do you, do you kind of want to, you know, be out at OTAs and, and show the Titans that you could be a full-time starter? Is that something at all that, that you hope to kind of prove out here in, in kind of the – the spring off season months? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Uh, you know, we, we let go of some guys in the back end. So there are spots open and um, it's on me, you know, to compete for and do what I do best. You know, I'm, I'm trying to earn a respect. Uh, like I said, not only my teammates, but the coaches show them that uh, I'm preparing to be a starter uh, and, what, and whichever role that may be at corner nickel or Special teams, you know, I uh, just want to show them that uh, I've been working for that, you know, trying to get healthy and show them that I know what I'm doing out there and, you know, just trying to contribute, you know, help the other guys get better too. Jim Wyatt. And Christian, I know your buddies with, uh, I guess, Racy. T tell us a little bit about him and, and cool to have him in Nashville now as a teammate. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh, definitely cool. Uh, it's crazy. It's so crazy how things play out. But, uh, you know, me and Racy, you know, we've been friends for a long time. Um, you, you're getting a big physical receiver, um, you know, competed with the best. So, you know, you're going to compete and come in to uh, look to earn whatever spot he wants to get. But a uh, fast guy, you know, he can can do it all, really. And, you know, I'm excited to have Racy, you know, in Nashville with us. Do you think he's a little bit underrated, maybe was overlooked a little bit uh, coming out? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, this, the film speaks for itself. I don't want to get too much into that. But, you know, just knowing his situation, you know, it's a lot of competition going on at LSU. So I know he didn't get a chance to showcase that, you know, whatever his situation may, may have been at LSU. But, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to show for him to show, you know, what he can do, you know, not to the coach, not only to the coach, but the player. Last question, Glennon. Yeah, Christian, uh, I'm sorry if you touched on this before. Volume's a little shaky out here, but uh, I know you, you played a lot of nickel uh, last year with uh, Elijah getting drafted this year. Um, do you expect to be, you know, almost solely on the outside or, or do you expect a little bit of both? What, what, are, your, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm not sure, you know, uh, you know I'm going to be prepared to play inside and outside, you know, whatever the case may be because, we all know things change in this league. People get hurt, you know, whatever the situation may be. So it's on me, you know, to – if they want me outside starting it, I, I'll do that. You know, I can do that. If they need me to move inside, I also can do that. Like I said, that's been my biggest thing moving on to my year two, you know, learning other people's position or both positions for me. But, you know, just knowing what other people are doing so I can, I can play faster and play more confident and, you know, get the job done.